when I'm doing a problem like this, um, now the next thing I need to do is, all right, I still need to find the point, right? So again, we go back to how do we draw the point? Well, we have our initial side. We always start here. And we rotate, right? But now this is negative, so when we rotate negative, we've got to go clockwise, because counterclockwise is positive, right? An angle is the rotation of two, of two rays. So we have our ray that's fixed, which we call our initial side, and we're going to rotate the other ray. So again, what I like to do is I like to look at my denominator. I know halfway around the circle is pi, right? I take my denominator, and I just rewrite it as 6 over 6, OK? Because that's just the easy, that's, I like to break it up, right? Just take whatever my denominator is, and that's the section I'm going to break it up. Then I break this up into 6. Right? So going in the negative direction, this would be negative pi over 6, negative 2 pi over 6, negative 3 pi over 6, negative 4 pi over 6, negative 5 pi over 6, negative 6 pi over 6. Right? Because you're going in the negative direction. So I need to go to here. All right? So now I know this is my point. That's my other angle. I need to determine what is that point on the unit circle. So I go back to my unit circle. All right? And what I notice is that this is 5 pi over 6. What is this distance right here? Brittany, that needs to get. If I, this is negative 5 pi over 6. To get to here, how far do I need to travel? Pi over 6, right? So therefore, if I remember, that first point that I found, which was 30 degrees, is the same thing as pi over 6, right? So I need to find what that distance is. And by knowing the unit circle, this point is square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So now, what you guys can see is this point, though, it's this point. But now, it's over here in the third quadrant, right? Do you guys see how I take what's in the fourth quadrant, and then I see, oh, it's reflected over the y and over the x. So it's in the third quadrant. So what's negative in the third quadrant? X and y. So therefore, my point is not square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. It's negative square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. Question? No? Cool? Questions? Do you guys think we're good? Yes?